In this video, I'm going to cover uh, the micro NASDAQ price action for Friday, August the 11th, 2023. I did take losses today. Uh, I'm down 500 on the day on my top step trader account. So I'm up about 1,000 on the week, uh, but down 500 today, Friday, August the 11th. Um, and so I'm having difficulty with August, August price action. I'm going to go through Friday's price action and tell you uh, what I think price did and then um, you know what I think that I am what I'm doing wrong so right at the start of the day on the open when we got to the 0950 to 1010 macro I started trading at 0950 we ran up into the opening range gap and we almost hit 75 percent of the opening range gap and we tagged some prior price action here um, so the 0950 to 1010 macro delivered us into buy side liquidity and then as we got into the the next macro time which is 1050 to 1110 We, uh, we came down and we we delivered into sell side liquidity. So we, we on a very high resistance liquidity run, we ran down into these lows and, uh, and delivered them. And at that point of the day, I think I was up. I, I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't end up uh, losing until later in the day. Um, so the, the 1050 to 1110 macro delivered us into liquidity. And then 11.50 to 12.10 delivered some short-term buy side liquidity. I thought we might end up drawing higher. We did not. Um, the New York lunch lunch session failed to deliver us. So this is where I started getting, I started taking losses. I really thought we were going to make a new low on the day. Um, I thought we were going to come down and run these lows. And I was thinking that the entire day. For the remainder of the day, I was like, all right, we're, we're probably going to make a new low. We did not make a new low. Uh, we just kind of chopped around and did nothing uh, so that's kind of where I got a little bit lost but we, we ended up running on on these lows and we traded into a one minute fair value gap we drew up at the end of the lunch session basically we drew back into this uh, rejection block traded down again again not delivering these lows and I'm sitting here thinking to myself like why is price not taking out these lows I really thought it was going to go for that sell side liquidity rather than leave it intact. I mean, it usually does. So the start of the day kind of performed as I would expect, right? Draw up into the opening range gap and then draw down into sell side liquidity. Really what, what I would expect from price. But then chopping inside of a range is not what I expect from price. I do expect the NASDAQ to take out its liquidity targets. Um, as we came into, so the lunch session delivered some short-term buy side liquidity here basically and then, and then it did some chopping around. Um, the as we came into the 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 lunch session let's see if we had a silver bullet i'm sure it was in there but basically we ran short-term buy side liquidity so price ran short-term buy side liquidity after failing to deliver sell side liquidity we we ran these three short-term highs um so we did that and then the final two macro times that I use, 1450, uh, 1450 to 1510, we can see the price delivered some short-term lows. And then 1515 to 1545 uh, ended up delivering, some sh delivering a short-term low as well after running higher. So this really should not have been a day that I took losses. Uh, it's just something I'm doing with my trading um, that, that really made me take, uh, take losses today. Uh, I see what price did now. I mean, it, it wasn't the cleanest day on earth. I mean, we could see the the long, the long wicks, um, but it really should not have been a day that I was taking losses. So, why do I think that I'm taking losses? Well, I'll show you the executions. I think it goes without saying. Looking at this, that I am scared to lose money now. I, I was so long gambling and gambling and gambling, not afraid to lose money. Now that I have my express funded account, I am afraid to lose money. Now, a lot of these are partials. Um, 
But I am kind of afraid to lose money now. And that's a problem. Um, you can't be afraid to lose money. So let's say that you're playing from 0950 to 1010 and you think that price is going to drop into the opening range gap. Where would your stop go? I mean, honestly, you could take any one of these long wicks, take a wick there, and what you would want to do is put your stop below the mean the consequent encroachment of one of these wicks. That would be a fine place to put it. Or if you uh, saw that price made an inverted fair value gap right here, right there, your, your stop would go right there. And just let it run. I mean, honestly, don't let yourself get tagged out. Just let it run. Because um, price was doing today is just tagging everybody out with the long wicks. All right, so that would be one trade of the day. Uh, second trade of the day, let's say that you're you're seeing the 1050 to 1110 macro and price is turning around and it looks like it's coming down to attack that sell side liquidity. So where, if you think that you're going to target those lows, where would your stop go? Guys, above the consequent encroachment or the midpoint of the top wick, and you can see that you were not stopped out there, like two ticks above that. So 167 spot 50. You do 168 spot, 167 spot 75 or 168 evens, and then you see that price did did run again. It's it's just doing this thing recently. That is just popping into stops, and then we go run on liquidity. And you can't be scared by this. That's really nothing. What you can do is, let's say that you have to exit the market and re-enter it. You look for a, a you know a recent order block or a recent pattern like this. And just put your stop right up here, like right there, one twenty-eight spot fifty, and let it run down into that sell side liquidity. Third day of the third trade of the day for the lunch session really would have been along somewhere down here. As you saw this candle form, basically, your stop would go right there, uh, and then you're aiming for this. You could have aimed for this as well. Okay, or you could have just, like I said, taken taken it off somewhere in here. Uh, you know, the next trade of the day. It's kind of hard for me to say. Um, I would say probably really where your next trade should have been would be all the way over here and then aim for these aim for these buy side targets which got hit and where would your stop go I would say below the consequent encroachment of that wick so right, right down here 1010 yeah so uh, what what 15054 I would do that. Um, the 1450 to 1510 macro. Uh, let's say that you enter the market somewhere in here. Where should your stop go? Uh, really above the mean threshold of that order block never got hit. So that never got hit right there. That was that was good, and then aim for that low, that low, that low. I thought it might draw all the way back down. It did not. 14, 15, 15 to fifteen forty five. Uh, I would say you know probably the same exact stop as you used for the first macro, and you're just aiming for that low that was just made. So really, you should have had like five or six trades today, maximum maybe seven. Uh, so I certainly need to widen the stops that I'm using. I need to cool it down with the break even stops. The problem is, guys, is that look at look at these wicks. And as they're printing, the candles look different. I think that goes without saying. Look look at these long wicks, right? Just not the cleanest price action in the world. Maybe I could go show you like what clean price action looks like. Yeah, there's a clean run right there. You can see not, not so wicky. That's certainly not clean at all. There's very clean price action right there. You see not so many wicks. Um, that was a good run. The run down was a good run. That run up was okay. That run up was okay. That run down was a very clean run. That was a clean run. It's not nearly as wicky. Uh, 
so you know it's easier when price is actually moving and it's not wicking so much and it is delivering its liquidity targets it's just an easier market environment to day trade Friday's market was not in my opinion a very easy market to day trade uh, although I can see where the setups were I can see where money could have been made here on the five minute chart um, as it comes to my personal trading um, I'm using too many break-even stops I'm not using wide enough stops for sure I'm just afraid to lose money at this point and I should not be afraid to lose money you will lose money trading at times uh, so I can see what the market in hindsight yeah I can see what happened here um, it was pretty clear and I hope I explained that to you it doesn't mean that while the market was actually happening today unfortunately I wasn't seeing it I saw it some of the time I didn't see it the whole time I do expect that the market the Nasdaq usually delivers it, its liquidity targets like I thought these lows were going to be taken out for a second time I thought we might even draw down into 15,000 uh, 22 spot 25 of course we didn't do that so I was really looking even potentially for more sell side but today was not a trending day at all um, so AM session macros worked the lunch session delivered some short-term buy side liquidity PM session macros worked it's really all you can expect from price um, and with that being said guys I definitely um, Yeah, I definitely definitely did not trade my best today. I think that goes without saying. And I think that I do have to focus on my top step account. I mean, I like having my trade station account, but I think I'm just going to have to leave that for a while uh, and focus on my top step account and focus on taking parcels and focus on, you know, not trading to 0950. Uh, looking at next week, economic calendar, we have retail sales coming up on August 15th. That is Tuesday. Uh, We've got FOMC minutes and building permits on Wednesday, and that's what we have coming into next week, and then we have a pretty quiet week going in August 24th. So this week I thought was a very difficult week. It showed me a little bit about like, okay, I'm definitely being too aggressive with the break-even stops. I am definitely not allowing the market to move far enough against me. I'm afraid to lose money, and... I'm probably just flat over trading, basically. I mean, I think there's no doubt about that at this point. I, I'm just flat over trading. Uh, I need to take fewer executions. Um, let's take a look at the electronic session and see if we had any opportunities during the London session. I was asleep. 0200, 20530, and then let's see, we've got our 0152. 10, 10, oh, 0150 to 210 macro and see how that worked out. Yeah, so the 0150 to 210 did deliver us into uh, short-term short -term sell side. And then we shortly turned around and ran on that buy side, ran on that buy side. So London Session had some opportunities in it, some big-time opportunities, really. Uh, we had a really clean run during the London Session, actually. The overnight session had a very clean run. So... It was probably worth trading. I was asleep. Um, yeah, I mean, guys, it's just I have to widen the stops. I have to stop being so aggressive with the break-even stops. I've got to let these things run further. I mean, remember, to it and through it, like that. that those were all very clean. All the all that sell side ended up getting getting ran, uh, and then we drew much further lower. So. I think it goes without saying, guys. I know what my mistakes are at this point. Um, I'm just not. I'm just uh, afraid to lose money. I'm, I'm taking too many trades, too many executions. I'm, I'm paying too much in commissions, um, and uh, I'm, I'm being way too aggressive with the break-even stops. I'm not. I'm not trusting my own judgment in terms of my stop placement. So I need to use wider stops, I need to take fewer executions, and I need to stop being so aggressive with the break-even stops, and I probably need to wait longer for taking executions, and I need to focus on trading this 
uh, Top Step Express Funded account so long as I have it. Focus on that. Just trade this one and I'll leave the remainder of the money I have in my trade station live account. I'll just leave that in there and uh, and just focus on trading Top Step. I'll just trade one account. I'll trade Top Step. So those are all those are all my mistakes. I know what I have to do. Um, it was a lost day today, but it wasn't the you know I made it. I made one K back on the week, so I've got. I've got a ways to go before I'm going to be positive on this account, but I haven't lost it. I've still got a free account to trade with, and that's what I intend on doing. So far, August has been difficult. I'm not going to lie, it's been difficult. I thought that July's price action was much easier. Um, this is very wicky, very, very wicky, and you need to use wider stops. Okay, guys, this has been a review of Friday, August the 11th, 2023.